Hi, welcome to the Geek Initiative here on my YouTube channel. And today we have a conversation with Colin Cunningham I taped at San Diego Comic-Con. But before we get to that, let's play a little bit of the podcast interview we did with Colin, and then we'll have more after we come back. So let's play a sample of my conversation with him, and then we'll see the video. Is not a good thing for you know for you or for me. I, I don't like it. Is the fact that John Pope is uh, it was not very much used in the last season at all. No, and again, um, and that's and I swear to God, at least not on my end. I don't, I don't feel it was a, a personal thing. I, I'll tell you this. I want. I've always wondered from the beginning why they never used more Pope. Yeah. In seasons one, two, three, and look, I scratched my head a couple times why they had this tremendous resource, and I went from being this someone with, with real stuff, with some some real game, to uh, to basically being Hal's runner, you know, in seasons three or four, whatever the hell it was. So I never understood why. I'm pretty strong from. I'm going to say from two to five, mm -hmm. not bad. Mm -hmm. Then I I kind of disappear, brother, like six, a little bit, seven, barely, eight, I'm not in at all, nine, barely, and ten ones. I will say this, Tunde was fantastic, and there's not a whole lot of Pope this season, and I, I don't, mm -hmm. I mean, less less than there's ever been. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I said, the stuff that I got, it's pretty good. It's been an amazing <laughs> five years. It really has. I mean, it's been incredible. Yeah, yeah great um, job. And, and what a blessing. And, and you know, I think it was a you know, hit and miss at times on the show, but what a character that I got to play. Oh, man. An absolute, yeah. an absolute blast. And now let's see our video interview that we did at San Diego Comic-Con with Colin Cunningham. Let's go to that right now. We've already talked about everything that's going on with Pope, but yeah. uh, as far as highlights for you, are there any that stand out in all the seasons for you? Wow. I, mean, you I still, yeah, you know what? It's weird. I go back, I go back to the beginning, and I think of the, just this, the first real scene that I had with Noah Wiley in that high school gym. And there was a dead skitter propped up and Pope was on his throne and everything was so new that you were firing at a thousand percent because he didn't want to screw anything up either. So you worked really hard on the text. And yeah, so I, I think of I think of that, you know, I think of that in terms of that. That's definitely a highlight. Definitely a highlight. After that, it starts to blur with other things. It becomes about going to my, my new friends that are in background. The Berserkers or what have you, and now I'm going to their kids' baptisms. <laughs> or it's the cable pullers' kids' bar mitzvah, and it just becomes more about the people as opposed to the thing. So it's uh, it's been quite the ride, man. I mean, five years, you know? I mean, what a blessing, you know? So, yeah, just gratitude. And does the last, se the last episode wrap it up, you think, pretty successful? Well, I haven't seen it, and it's been a while since I read it. We shot what we shot, but uh, I hope it does. I really hope it does. We'll see. We'll see. You know, what do you, what do you got up next? What's up next? I never talk about stuff. I'd rather talk about what I've done as opposed to what I'm what I'm doing. But I got a, I got a couple of things in the fire, and uh, it's one of the reasons why I shaved shaved I that like off. It. Yeah, it's I like that. Weird much. man. It's I mean, a weird I'm, thing. I'm bald, so uh, you know, <laughs> I don't mind that. Uh, and and being here, what's it like? Being this here? is. I think this will be. Not that we didn't enjoy the other four, but I think we'll enjoy this one the most. Because we got nothing to lose. Yeah. The show's not coming back, so we're going to let our guard down. We don't have to. Be, we don't have to be as nice to people, you know. Yeah. I am. Well, it's all, you know. It's 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 just great to see everybody. I haven't seen everybody in six months, and uh, it's our last Comic Con representing Falling Skies. So yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. Oh, you'll be back. All right, good to see you, buddy. All right, you take care. We'll be talking. That was my video interview with Colin Cunningham. Now let's hear a little bit more from Colin that we did on our podcast interview about season five. Let's go to that now. But um, but Pope, Pope this year definitely takes, um, let's say, a, a, the darkest turn he ever has. Oh, cool. It's Yeah, no, without a doubt. It, Pope becomes darker and stranger than we've ever, ever seen him. Nice. And um, <laughs> if there was ever, ever any animosity against Tom Mason, it explodes in season five. No, that's great. 
And that was part of my podcast interview with Colin Cunningham. The complete interview is available on iTunes. And speaking of complete, you can get all the Falling Skies videos recorded at San Diego Comic-Con in only one place, and that's right there at connectpal.com slash thegeekinitiative. It's only $1.99 a month to join, and so I certainly urge you to do that. There's also a lot of cool content there as well. So that is my interview with Colin. Until next time here on my YouTube channel for the Geek Initiative, this is Tony Tolato, and I want to thank my Geek Initiative partners, geeklegacy.com, thefullbleed.net, and also the seventhmatrix.com. See you next time.